I'm Mark Mengi. I'm Alex Skolnick. We are from Metal Allegiance. And you're watching Loudwire. So the guy uh, we got. Two drummers. Yeah, there's actually two. two. Well, why don't, why don't you explain one and I'll explain the other. I'll, so I'll explain the one we'll I go got. That one. We'll go that yeah. one now. Um, well, we're doing the same Vita show. We're doing, it's basically two shows. We're doing our Bloodstock set list because we leave the next day to head over to England, which mm -hmm. is Metal Allegiance's first time ever playing as Metal Allegiance over, over there. So it's a, a pretty big deal to us. And um, you know, playing that gig with us is Charlie Benanti from Anthrax. And uh, he played with us uh, a few times, uh, quite a few times actually. And, uh, but another local guy too. Another local guy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Trent now Midwester. Um, but um, we're going to bring over uh, Frederick from formerly known as Amon Marth's drummer for a long time, forever. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to play, with, uh, he's coming direct from Sweden um, to New York just for this gig to jam with us. And uh, he's going to do the whole Bloodstock portion of the set for us. Now, how did you guys get in contact with him? Because um, he's a little bit kind of on the outside of uh, a little bit more of the traditional metal realm that you guys encompass. You know, we, um, yeah, uh, our agent, uh, who uh, we just started working with uh, in Europe yeah. uh, about a month or two ago, um, said, hey, you know, Frederick wants to jam with you guys. And uh, I immediately went, done. <laughs> no tryout. There was no, there was no, mm -hmm. let's hear, what you, we know what you could do. I mean, listen to those Amon records. I mean, yeah. he was on everything. And uh, he's an amazing drummer. And uh, him and I just started talking and we Skyped a few times. And, um, and like Dave Ellison says, we all share the same record collection. And uh, he's a huge Maiden fan, uh, and as, as I am. And we just started geeking out about Steve Harris, first time we saw Maiden. You know, when he first met, uh, for him, Nico, for me, it was Steve Harris. Mm -hmm. It was how you know, you know, we went to complete fanboy modes. And uh, we just hit it off. And then I was like, dude, come to New York, man. Uh, we're playing this gig. I know it kind of makes no sense for you to come from Sweden to Brooklyn to go, yeah, it's not all <laughs> over. And uh, he was totally in, and that was it. So uh, he's a dr dr drummer numero uno for the night. And that's what um, I really like about Metal Allegiance. I mean, it really is the perfect name for what you guys are doing. It's just an allegiance of professional musicians who are still passionate for the music as, from yeah. a fan perspective. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're still playing these records as a fan, just I'm sure the same way you were when you were 12, 13, 14 growing up. But I mean, yeah, absolutely. now you absolutely. get to pay tribute to your heroes that you know, you've met, toured yeah. with. Um, but it's a lot of fun for us too, yeah. especially with the rotating cast of musicians. I mean, you never know who you're gonna get. I mean, it could be Mark Asagueta singing, it could be Chuck Billy singing, different guys playing guitar, drums. So it's really cool for us to just stand and go, you know, just to see different interpretations of you yeah. guys just Most fun. of them, you know who they are, but yeah. Uh, yeah. we're actually bringing in somebody that's a relatively new face for the uh, Deep Purple portion. Okay. Because he's going to, yeah, he's just, he's the, he's the guy for it. Um, and uh, he plays with um, <clears throat> John Zorn, who wow. is um, yeah, one of my all-time mm -hmm. favorite musicians. So if John Zorn approves of somebody, I, I know he's good. And yeah. he, Plays in a few, um, he plays in a few death metal bands, but he does jazz as well. Hmm. And he's, he's on some very acclaimed jazz albums. His name is uh, Kenny Grahowski, and uh, he's from uh, Miami originally, but uh, based in New York now. And um, well, Robert Trujillo praises him. Yeah, Ro Robert Trujillo mm -hmm. is a, f a big fan. Uh, he was involved in the Jocko uh, movie DVD premiere. DVD film. That, yeah. yeah, the whole tribute and um, he also uh, plays with Felix Pistorius the son of Jocko mm -hmm. and he loves wow. metal so he's, so he's like perfect. he's got the whole thing even, covered yeah even if his name isn't as known as some of the rest of us mm -hmm. he, he deserves to be there so yeah, jazz drumming is kind of where it all started for metal anyway I mean they started That's the true. blast beat and everything so kind of makes true. sense and he gap. makes those connections and yeah. for me it's great because I you know I have a foot in both doors so mm -hmm. um, I, I just yeah, I've played with him in some other projects too. It's so funny we were, we, we were discussing doing this album. I'm like, man, who the fuck is gonna play drums on this <laughs> shit show of a night? Right. Yeah. And uh, you know, Mike's not around. Mike's uh, doing the last of the Twisted Sister shows, mm -hmm. and um, and it was like, all right, we're gonna we'll find a drummer. We'll we'll we're we'll yeah. booking all this shit. We'll find a drummer. And then we got we were fortunate enough to have Frederick 
reached out and go, I want to jam, I want to jam with these guys and we hit it off with him and then Alex suggested Kenny. It was just like now we have two drummers and we actually got approached by two more actually pretty well known <laughs> drummers. <laughs> Uh, actually, very well-known drummers to jam, but we have to put a cap on. I mean, yeah. for me as a bassist, I'm going from playing uh, used to Portnoy. You know, mm -hmm. him and I kind of have a groove, and now I'm going to be playing with Frederick for one half of a set, then Kenny another half of a set, then going to play with Charlie. So <laughs> mentally, yeah, mentally that's going to be a little which is awesome. I mean, it's awesome for a bass player, and I, I'm really looking forward to that. And um, you know, a bass player can't ask for anything more. You, you, I mean, these drummers who you're playing with, it's I mean. It's a dream.